please help a new channel, like and subscribe. Wormhole warriors. Emergency sirens wailed through the corridors of the space station Orion's Edge. Captain Mia Rocker strapped herself into the pilot seat of the escape pod. The station, orbiting the distant planet of Zeta Prime, was now minutes away from a catastrophic reactor meltdown. Command, this is Rocker, initiating emergency launch protocol. As explosions rocked the station, sending shutters through the structure, Mia initiated the launch sequence. The pod systems came to life with a symphony of beeps and clicks. Suddenly, the communication line came to life. Captain Rocker, delay your launch. We've detected an unidentified vessel approaching at high speed. It's not responding to hails. Mia paused, her hand hovering over the launch button. A risky decision lay before her. Escape now and potentially collide with the incoming vessel, or wait in the hope of identifying the ship risking witnessing a meltdown up close and personal. Her decision was made for her as the side of the station erupted in a fiery explosion, propelling her pod into the blackness at breakneck speed. As she stabilized the pod's trajectory, the unidentified vessel, sleek and silver, darted into view, maneuvering with impossible agility. Mia toggled the communication channel open. Unidentified vessel. This is Captain Mia Rocker of the Orion's Edge. Identify yourself. No response came, but the alien ship matched her speed and trajectory, flanking her escape. Mia watched warily, turning on the pod's defense control systems. Shields went up, and a small laser turret sprang to life, tracking the ship. Suddenly, her systems lit up. A quantum breach detected. The fabric of space-time seemed to distort around the alien ship, pulling at the edges of reality. Mia's heart raced as she realized the vessel was opening a gateway, a wormhole. At that moment, her station imploded, unleashing a massive spatial shockwave that surged toward her, a dazzling spectacle. Brilliant flares of incandescent gas and fragmented metal burst outward. Debris, propelled by the immense force of the shockwave, raced toward her escape pod, twisted shards of what once were the walls and corridors of her home in the stars. Without hesitation, Mia steered her pod towards the wormhole. If this was a route to safety, she had no choice but to take it. The alien ship led the way, plunging into the swirling vortex of light. She found herself inside an ethereal tunnel where the usual laws of physics seemed suspended, brilliant hues of violet and emerald twisted and turned around her forming intricate patterns that danced like celestial spirits, as if she were plummeting through the eye of a cosmic storm. Streaks of light zipped past the viewport, remnants of cosmic dust and energy, illuminating the wormhole's walls with a ghostly glow. Time itself felt dilated, stretching and compressing in unpredictable ways. The alien ship communicated at last, sending a simple text-only message, As we exit... Follow us if you wish to survive. When they emerged on the other side, Mia gasped. An immense battlefield stretched out in the vast expanse of space where countless fleets clashed with ferocious intensity. Ships of varying designs and sizes maneuvered through the chaos. Lasers sliced through the darkness, carving brilliant arcs of searing light that illuminated the void with flashes. Explosions bloomed like deadly flowers, sending shockwaves and debris scattering across the battlefield. Mia's heart raced as she took in the scene, realizing the immense scale of the conflict she had unwittingly become a part of. Mia followed the alien vessel, her escape pod weaving through a deadly labyrinth of debris and explosions. The pod's shields flickered under the strain, the lights on the control panel flashing urgently as they absorbed the shockwaves of nearby blasts. Ahead, the alien vessel led her to a massive capital ship that loomed like a titan among the battling fleets. The ship's exterior was marked by battle scars and burnished metal. As they approached, the hangar bay of the capital ship yawned open like a giant maw, ready to swallow them whole. Mia steered her pod into the cavernous hangar. The interior was dimly lit, with rows of other spacecraft lined up. As her pod touched down gently on the landing platform, the bay doors began to close behind her.
sealing with a resounding thud that echoed through the massive chamber, providing Mia with a moment of respite but also plunging her into a new, uncertain reality. She unstrapped herself, taking a deep breath as she prepared to meet her mysterious allies, her heart pounding with anticipation. As she disembarked, a group of alien beings greeted her. They were tall, with iridescent skin and eyes like swirling galaxies. Welcome, Captain Rocker, the leader spoke, holding a device, a universal translator. We need your help. Our enemy, the Chrono Syndicate, will stop at nothing to control the wormhole technology and bring war to the universe. We're in desperate need of your cloaking technology. We believe it could change the tide of this war. We must stop them here. They're about to take our home world. Then there is nothing that will stand in their way. Galaxies will fall. No problem, she replied confidently. Give my life pod access to your ship systems and provide me with a console to work at. It will only take two minutes. Reroute power from lighting and life support on unneeded decks to the front communications dish. The alien technicians complied, their movements swift, Mia's eyes scanning the readouts as she made the necessary adjustments. Okay, now hit it, Mia commanded. In an instant, the massive capital ship vanished from sight, its presence cloaked by the advanced technology Mia had just activated. The alien commander snickered with satisfaction, his gaze fixed on the tactical display. Sneak through their defenses, he ordered his crew. All guns to bear. Enter orbit, take out all cities on their homeworld. Leave nothing but ash. His laughter echoed maniacally through the control room as the crew moved to execute his orders. Thank you, Rocker, he said turning to Mia with a sinister grin. We could not have conquered them without you, and now, with your outpost gone, and our newfound tech, your homeworld is next. Mia stood frozen for a moment, the weight of her actions crashing down upon her. Lock her up, she might be useful later, the commander shouted. Rocker replies, this is not over, not by a long shot, as they dragged her away. This is not goodbye, nor the end. Until the story continues, my friends, be an rocker.